morning, the postman delivered these posters to our school. The posters tell us all about postcodes. And this is Wilfred. He's the dog on the poster. Does anyone know what a postcode is? Lynn, do you know? That's the postcode, sir. Yes, that's right. That's a postcode. Wilfred has a postcode on the label that's tied to his collar. Now that you've put up the posters, go and sit down at your desk, please, will you? B, three, six, eight, Q, J. This is the school's postcode. Soon every house and building will have a postcode. Postcodes are a new way to help the postman to deliver your letters. Please, sir, will Anne's letters have a postcode? Yes, Anne's in hospital. But the hospital has a postcode, and the postman will use the postcode to deliver our letters quickly. Now I want you all to finish the letter you're writing to Anne, and I'll write her address on the blackboard. Miss... Anne... Miller... Children's Ward The Cottage Hospital Write neatly. Will you address this envelope to Anne, please? Yes. Copy the address on the blackboard very carefully. And don't forget the postcode, will you, Andrew? Miss... Um, Miller. Now, Tina, will you collect all the letters and put them in the envelope that Andrew's addressing? That's right. Well done, Andrew. Now for the postcode. W I six two B C. Who knows what happens to the envelope next? Jane? We'll post it, sir. Yes, we post it. There's a pillar box quite near our school. I wonder what time the letters in the box are going to be collected. It says number two on the box. Let's see what number two means. It means that our letter will be collected at 12.30. Lynn, you've got the letter, haven't you? Will you put it in the box for us? Look, here's the postman coming. The postman arrives in a red van. It's exactly the same colour as the pillar box. Can you stay and watch the postman collect the letters? Got written on the side, he has to collect the mail from lots of post boxes. Yes. Yes. By the time he has finished, I expect his van will be full of sacks. Yes, yes. First of all, the postman changes the number on the door of the box. The next collection will be number three. The third collection of the day. How many letters are Anne's letter is being put in the bag with all the other letters. The postcode will help it to reach Anne quickly. Once the letters have been collected from the pillar box, they are taken to the sorting office.
the mail bags are emptied onto a conveyor belt. The letters and packets are all mixed up together. They have to be separated. They slide into a big drum which turns round and round. The drum has slits in the sides. As the drum turns, the letters fall through the slits. The packets are too big to go through the slits and slide gently to the end. The drum separates the letters from the packets. Envelopes come in different sizes. Now, the large envelopes must be separated from the smaller ones. A man would take a long time to do this by hand, but a machine does it quickly. The rubber rollers snatch out all the large envelopes, and the smaller ones underneath go on in the machine. Now the machine has separated all the large envelopes from the small ones. Another machine makes sure that all the envelopes are the right way up. This machine is called ALF. The letters A, L, F, ALF stand for Automatic Letter Facer. And this is just what ALF is. You see, the letters arrive back to front and upside down. ALF makes sure that the letters are turned so that every stamp is in the right position to be cancelled. When ALF has finished its job, the postcode on the letters has to be read. This man is reading the postcodes on the letters as they drop in front of him. He uses a machine like a typewriter to print a pattern of dots on the envelopes. He does this to every letter that has a postcode. Different postcodes have a different pattern of dots printed on them. The dots are really an address. They are difficult for us to see, but the machines can read them. Next, the letters, with the dots on the envelopes, go into a sorting machine. This machine works very fast. It puts the letters into boxes. Each box has the name of a place over it. The machine reads the dots on the envelopes and automatically puts them into the right box. When the postman brings a letter to your house, have a look for the postcode on the envelope. And next time you're in a post office, look out for Wilson.